Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to make a run speed progress bar as the one you see up in the left corner here. So your character can walk around and if he starts running you can see the run bar is going down and if he stops it will slowly uh, regenerate again. And of course as always you can use your own sprites. Um, if you want to use the same as I do, you can go to my webpage gameassetworld.com, go into 2D sprites, and if you download um, the package uh, down here in the left corner, then uh, you will have um, the squares um, that we need for this tutorial. Yeah, let's get to it. So if you download the, the package from my page, you should have this uh, white square or you can simply make it yourself. It's the only thing that we are going to use for this video. So the first thing that we will have to make is a UI uh, canvas. This canvas will be a screen space camera and the camera that you need. In my case, it's placed on my player. It's just your main camera. And again, in my... Um, um, sorry. In my case, uh, the plane distance will be 1. You can play around with this if uh, it's not work working for you. Uh, what it does is, if you see here, if I take a UI image, and you can see here, it's now, right now, you can see it on the screen. But if I take my plane distance and move it, oh, what's it the other way? Yeah, like this, then it's, it's, it's going away. Like if I move this up here, I think, and bump this up. Yeah, you can see now it's disappearing behind everything else. So in my case, it will be one and then it will be in front of everything else. So we already made the, a UI image here, drag the square up here on the canvas. Uh, let's first make an empty object here and call this the run uh, progress bar. Uh, click uh, the icon up here, uh, hold down the alt key and take the one to the top left uh, corner here. That will link the progress bar here to the left corner of the canvas and then drag your image inside of that one. Uh, let's make this one a little bigger like this and then take the image, drag it in here and in my case it will be 200 like 30. Oh, oh no, that's probably too big. Let's do something like this. 80, 15, let's hit the play bar, uh, maybe a bit bigger, I think, so we, so it's easier to see, this tutorial, yeah, 150, 30, let's keep it like this uh, for now, let's move down a bit, like this, this image will be the background, so let's make background, let's make it black, you can duplicate this image and this will be the, the run progress, let's call it that. And I will make it green. And here let's make it 140 by 25, 26. Seven. Oh, 25, yes, and 145, yeah, something, something like this. And the one run progress, we'll need to, from image type, from simple to filled, so we can, oh, of course, <laughs> make this uh, vertical as well, sorry, horizontal. Then it's possible to move it from right and left like this, and this is the one we will control from uh, from the script. Of course, we also will need a text 
so here uh, in my case I'm using TextMess Pro. Um, you can of course use your regular text as well. It's up to you. And here let's take the text and let's align it in here. Like that. This and I will center it both ways. Make it, let's take 20. And let's say 100 by 100. Just so we have a reference. Like make it black. Maybe bold. Yeah, we can make it bold. Let's keep it like that. And this one we will call run text. And that's actually everything we have to do from here. So now let's open up the, the script. In my case, I will place it on the player controller. And on my player controller, I'll just slowly scroll down this one. So if you want to copy it, um, this is just uh, a simple um, way to move where it's where I've binded up my animation is running, is walking, is idling. And the ground, if you want to jump. So the first thing that we will need to do here, we will have some references for all the UI we just uh, added. And here we will need a public image. And this image will be for the run image. Uh, the green one we made. And then we have a public float. And here we need our max run amount. And then we need a public float. Uh, and this would be the minimum run amount. Uh, these can of course be private as well and uh, be hard coded inside the script. But I like to see them in this inspector so I can adjust them. Uh, uh, in, so they fit my needs. Then uh, we need a reference for the text as well. And that will be in a text mess pro let's see text mess pro jury like this and this will be the run text uh, if it's the first time that you are adding text mess pro text you will need to uh, using tm pro if you are using your normal text you simply just write text here instead but let me use text mess pro and then we need the last one for, um, what is it called, a bull, that the uh, public uh, bull is running. So let's set this up, head back to Unity, let it compile my player here. We have our run image. The run image will be the progress. We have max, max run amount. Uh, I will pick 100. And when we start the game, it uh, the minimum will of course be 100 as well. And then we have the text. That will be the run text we did. Let's go back again. And now let's set it up. Go down to the update. And in the update uh, method, we will say our run text dot text is equal to our minimum run amount dot to string. And plus like this, and this will be our max amount dot to string and the reason why we're doing to string is because we have a, a float up here and I want it to be an equal number so I am converting it to a to a string uh, so it only be one number I'll show you later and then to control the this is for controlling um, let's do this controlling um, the number and then we will need run image dot uh, fill amount. 
And this is equal to our minimum amount divided with our maximum amount. So now it's been set up and this is controlling the progress bar. So let's save this. Let's try to head back to Unity. Let it compile. Let's see what we have here. Let's try hit the play button and see what happens. Nothing happens yet. Open up the script again. Oh yeah, it's, it's of course nothing happens because we only <laughs> binded it. We didn't ask it to do anything. Um, and here in our update, we will need to say if is running is true, then our minimum run amount, me, sorry, minimum run amount is minus equal six times time dot delta time. And this six, um, is just a number I picked that every time you run, it will minus six from your minimum run amount. You can of course choose uh, what number you want. You can, uh, if you want to, we can, yeah, we can actually do that as well. Uh, then we can just say public inch, uh, uh, what, what should we call this one? Um, minus progress. And then we can take the minus progress here and put it down here. And then we can take a public end and make it plus progress. And then we will have to say else minimum run amount plus equal plus progress times time dot delta time. Now we are capable to set it from the inspector instead of hard coding it in, in here. One important thing that we need to do here is we need of course to say if the minimum amount is less or equal to the maximum amount or gr greater, sorry, or equal to then the minimum amount is equal to our maximum run amount. This will uh, do so you are not able to, if the minimum amount gets to 100, then it will stop and, and be the same as the max amount. And in this case, it's 100. So it'd be 100 out of 100. If you don't do this, it will keep going up. So you <laughs> could get, uh, yeah. 200 minimum around so this is this will stop that progress we also need to say the other way around so if our minimum amount is less or equal to zero then the minimum amount sorry for that minimum amount is equal to zero so now it, it, it's not able to go below zero. And when do we have to use all this? In my case, in my move function. So I have, if I press the W and the left shift, then I will run. So I need to make a check here where I need to say, if my minimum run amount is greater than zero and input, um, yeah, and then my move input here, I need another parenthesis here, then I will be able to run. So if it's below zero, I can't run. And then I have to set my is running is equal to true. And then when I am idling, I will set my is running to false. And I actually think that is it. So when I'm running, 
I will set it to true and when it is true, we will minus the progress. And when I'm idling, that's uh, not running, then I'll set it to false. And if it's false, it will go up. Yeah, so let's try save it, head back to Unity. Over here in the inspector, now we got the minus. So let's put six in my case and plus, let's make one. Now let's hit the play button and see what happens. So nothing happens. So when I run, you can see it's going down. And when I stand still, it's going up again. And you can see this doesn't look good with all these decimals. To fix that issue, simply just open up the script again. And where we are saying here, the two string, you can simply just do this. And this, and this will make it to one decimal. So save again, head back to Unity. Let's try again. You can rock around and when you run, it simply goes down. And if you stop, it will slowly go up again. And as I mentioned before, you can simply just bump these numbers up. Uh, let's make it 20 instead. So it goes really fast. So if you see now, it goes really fast when you run, and if you stop, it goes faster the other way. Yeah, that was what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, and um, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. See you next time.